everybody and welcome back to Alt Knots. Welcome to another day here in the Yarn Dungeon where we are actually not going to stay for that long. All of my stuff is ready to go. We are going to jump in the car, go to Joann's and check out some Halloween home decor, Halloween craft stuff, everything in between. As long as it's Halloween involved, that's what we're going to check out today. I am genuinely so excited. Like if this sale is for real, I'm going to lose my mind and like there is not going to be any of this left even in like the next 24 hours, it's all gonna be gone. Okay, so basically I got a notification from Joanne saying that they are having a sale, a 60% off sale on their anti-pilling fleece, which is the perfect type of fabric to make blankets with. But not only that, it also included their brand new Halloween line. So this type of fleece is something that I have yet to even see in their stores. Like it was only a few days ago that I saw anything in any Joann's that was remotely Halloween, like not fall, but like distinctly Halloween. So, you know, black pumpkins, black wreaths, witches, stuff like that. I just started to see that. I had been going through the fabric area and stuff because I like I like a good fleece blanket, but here's the thing. Normally, I see it and I'm like, I don't even know what to do with it. Like honestly, like uh, yeah, okay, I'll go ahead and make a blanket, but I don't really enjoy sewing, so making an edge for it has just like never been my thing. So normally I just go ahead and get a bunch of it and that's it. Like those are my little throws. But this year, I wanna go ahead and get a bunch of it and I wanna go ahead and make a crochet edging on it. So kinda like play around with like Pico edging and maybe like those pom-pom edgings things like that. I really honestly have not played around with that stuff. I just figured, you know what, why not? Because this year I had already told myself that 2021, I'm not gonna actually crochet any sort of blanket. I just made a ton of blankets last year and I just really needed to branch out and do something else. And I feel like I have been doing this. So I feel like this is kind of a loophole for myself. It's like, I'm not crocheting the blanket. It's just like the whole thing is basically done. It's fleece. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a cute little crochet edging around it. It's not gonna take much time at all. So I did go ahead and actually go on their site before I got in the car because each Joann's around me, I know they're gonna carry different fabric and uh, definitely they're gonna have I feel like they're gonna scatter it. Like they're not gonna have one store that's gonna have all of the Halloween fabric all at once. And I was right. So there were about six or seven Joann's around me and each one of them, either they had nothing or they had like two or three. And none of them had more than like two or three fleece, anti-pilling fleece, I guess is what I was looking at. So full disclosure, we're gonna go to two Joann's because I found, I found four patterns that I really, really love and Four of them happen to be, okay, five. Maybe I found five or it's three. I can't remember. Either way, one store has the bulk of it and then the other store has just one, but it was a fabric that I was like, oh my gosh, this is, like, it's just trick or treat personified and it's just totally gonna go perfect in my yarn dungeon. So I was like, whatever, I'll drive to two different Joann's. That's totally fine. I will definitely do this. Here I am, really, really excited to go in. And as soon as I opened the door, I saw that they have Halloween stuff right in the front and so I had to check out their florals because I haven't seen their 2021 edition yet and I'm loving it like honestly right here this is probably my favorite wreath selection that I've seen thus far this year like the trick-or-treat colors are just so spot on I am just I'm all about it and then oh yeah this thing right here I don't know what I'm going to use it for because I don't plan on making another wreath but I need to put it somewhere because it's so freaking cute and then this little thing the little skeleton hand with the boa on it I don't know I feel like it might look kind of cute like stuck into cakes of yarn it kind of is like the direction that I'm going to go with it I don't know but basically they just had a bunch of cute stuff and like the little candy corns up on top there too so for trick-or-treat theme spot on and then this oh my gosh this thing I don't even know where I'm gonna put it but I love the colors the dark gray and the black in it it's just so cute and I found this little guy just hiding away spooktacular crochet I was like oh my gosh we need to put you in front then I finally found the fleece what I came here for today I did not see this one online and this is really cool if you have like a witchy vibe this is gonna look really cool as a throw. So there's that one. And then all these on the bottom are ones that I saw and I was just very, very excited that they were all here still because I'm living for all of these and the combination together. 
And then I found this thing, which I would imagine it's a starter kit. There is the rotary cutter, the mat, and the hard edge ruler in there. So I was like, you know what? That looks like a good deal. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that. And there were also sales going on as well. And the blade right there. I can't remember the name of the blade. So if you know, let me know in the comments down below. Basically, it just makes all the holes around the blanket. And then I saw all the Halloween socks that was right at the checkout. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't need them. I don't need them, but like, I kind of do need them. And they were just like calling my name. They also had some of their charms out for jewelry. And also like the top up here is earrings and like the machete, the bloody machete earring. I was like, I died laughing so hard. I was like, those are just absolutely killer. And this little planchette uh, pendant, I feel like, I don't know, it might be a little too big for a stitch marker, but I'm gonna have to use it for something. And I don't know if it's just me, but these little things are actually kind of adorable. Like, is that weird? I feel like I shouldn't like them, but I wanted to take all of them home. This thing was really cool. You go ahead and put your hand on it, so it's like a bracelet, but it looks like bones, so your hand looks like a skeleton. And then there was a skeleton necklace as well. Oh my gosh, it, there, like there was just a lot going on in this area, so I definitely spent a a little bit of extra time there and what was the other one that I really liked? They had the candy corn, the traditional black cat and pumpkin. And then, oh, this thing right here. I really liked that, the spider web. I was like, this would make really, really good stitch markers. And then this little raven skull, oh my gosh. And here we have just pure spooky happiness in a bag and we're moving on to the second store. They had some ornaments that I hadn't seen and this bride and groom skeleton is adorable. These are bat appliques that glow in the dark that I was like, I need to find something to put that on. And this thing, this skull planter, oh my gosh, this took my attention right away because immediately I was like, yarn bowl. Like it's really not that heavy and it's super cool and creepy. And then they just had some party supplies, napkins, plates, and stuff like that. Super, super cutesy. Then way in the back in this corner that I almost missed, there was a section here of Big Twist, and they're all different travel bags for projects. So they're different sizes, different shapes, and they're meant to like carry things like that. It's meant to carry your hooks or your needles. The other one there, you can see it has little holes for the yarn to come out. So when you're traveling with it, you can actually crochet or knit as you're like, traveling so it doesn't get all tangled and I love those things. This one is just a little smaller one. You can see that you can like hang it up as well. Just really, really cool. And I don't know, I just, I don't know if this is a new line, but I personally hadn't seen it yet. So I had to like stop and take a look through all of these. Okay, I think that's the last bag. It ended up being a lot more than I thought I was gonna get, but I'm just gonna start with the fabric. This one by far is probably my favorite. It's gonna be so hard to pick favorites, which is why I ended up buying a bunch of them. But this is just, okay, do yourself a favor and check it out like right now. It was the first one that I ordered and I ended up ordering four yards, which that was a lot. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in half and do two different blankets with this. I think two yards is perfect. That's what the other ones that I got was two yards instead of four and I think, yeah. So close up of the two yardage that I got. Yeah, this looks so much better. I freaking love this. This is just so beautiful. I love all of these, but I think this one is gonna go in the yarn dungeon. Assuming that I love actually doing this and the process of it and I'm actually gonna finish it, this is gonna be yarn dungeon. This one I have every intention of using for like on the edge of my bed. I don't know, it just looks really, really cool and it seems like it's screaming to me bedroom. That's what it seems like. And the last one, which I couldn't tell if I liked it when I saw the picture, but now that I'm seeing it in person, I really do. So it's like, it kind of has like a tarot card vibe to it. And so it's got like the skull and then it has 13 on it, spider web, a, a bunch of different ones here. Honestly, I knew I was gonna get it anyways because it's just the monochromatic black white. And I don't really know where it's gonna go, but it's gonna go somewhere. Oh shoot, I had one more. I forgot about this one because this was the last store that I went to. And this is the Spoopy, <laughs> Spoopy? <laughs> Getting spoopy in the yarn dungeon. Yes, I mean, it's kind of what it looks like, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. This one, I love this so much. So it is a little more like cream 
than what it looks like in the picture. It looked more like, like a white background, but this is definitely cream. So not that I'm mad about it, but I just wanted to let you know in case you thought as me and you're like, oh, that looks like it's white with pumpkin colors on it. No, it definitely is a little cream, almost like little bits of brown in it too. I mean, obviously it makes it look like very old timey newspaper type of ordeal. And I'm totally here for that. So I love this so much. Once again, this one will definitely have to go in the yarn dungeon because I'm doing trick or treat theme. And I feel like this just looks like a perfect Sam pumpkin. I need to definitely do this. And then I think I only got two, two yards for this. So a nice blanket. Oh, and there's little skulls on it. Didn't even realize that. Whoa, as I throw it at you, there are little skulls. I feel like I'm just gonna notice more and more things about each pattern as I start to look at it or I start to work with it. Also, I think this one here, yes. So I also did get some fabric because I like to sew like brand new throw pillows and this was just perfect. I love it. I'm doing a Pennywise theme for my living room and this is gonna be totally perfect as throw pillows. I just got one yard of this, which I mean, it's a lot. I'm only gonna do two, I think, one or two. I don't know, I haven't decided. And then this is actually for the pattern that is coming out this week because we are gonna have a Friday the 13th pattern. This was just beyond perfect. Like I could not have asked the universe for a more perfect thing. So this is gonna turn into pockets that go on a cardigan. Because I used a little bit of a bigger stitch, one that's a little more airy, I definitely needed to go ahead and create my own pocket with fabric. And I really was gonna just go ahead and use like a plain black fabric because I have a lot of that laying around, but I was like, nope, this is perfect. So I think I got just a half a yard. I think that's all. I mean, it's going to be way more than I need, but I was thinking maybe I can go ahead and sew up little like baby pillows and then put it in because my cats sleep in coffins. And so I might go ahead and put it in their little coffin there. You know, they need to like refresh their area too as we're getting into Halloween. I had to get these. I couldn't pass these up. So I'm not a huge earring wearer in any way, shape or form, but these are adorable. And I really just honestly, I'm going to make them into stitch markers. Like that's what I'm gonna do. It came with four, so now I have four. And I'm gonna make stitch markers out of these as well, but I just wanted this one for Friday the 13th. That way I had three, and they're both like, you know, they're different styles and stuff, so I wanted to have both of them. But there's like a tombstone. This little skeleton is kind of like giving me some real spooky vibes. I love it. And then I just grabbed up a little bit of lobster class. I think it's a 15 millimeter. I don't know, it doesn't say on there, but if I were to guess it's 15 millimeter, I'll have to look it up. But it's just these plain lobster class. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just make these up real quick. Then I did end up buying this entire thing. So it has the mat, it has the ruler, it has the cutter, and then I bought a spare blade. The one that's gonna go ahead and make the holes around the blanket so I can actually crochet into it. It was just a really, really good deal. And I think it was like 25% off. I'm gonna go ahead and try this real quick, honestly, because I don't even know if I'm gonna like it. And there really is no reason for me to continue on with this video if I don't even enjoy it or I don't have fun with it. So I'm gonna bust this open here, put this new blade on, I did buy a half a yard. Yeah, there was a little bit of remnant left of the Black Cat Tarot card. It was a dollar for like a half a yard. So I think I'm gonna try it on that real quick. I'm gonna do that. Okay, so spoiler alert, I love it so much. The one that was four yards, I cut it in half and just started in on it. But like, look at that. This is just single crochet, that's it. This is really just getting me started in order to set up like a pico or like maybe a pom-pom edging. I don't know, there are a lot of different options that I can go with this now that I know that I actually enjoy it. But really, honestly, if you wanted to stop here, I feel like this would even look done. Like this looks finished, it's a nice edging, it's simple and it's gonna go really, really quick. I think everything was on sale except for these little things, which is fine because honestly, I just was like too worried. They were too cute. I didn't want to leave them there and like they wouldn't be available at the end of the season. Like I needed them right now. But that is it for this Joanne haul. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, driving along with me to Joanne's. Please let me know in the comments if you're interested in me doing a tutorial of how to actually put crochet edging onto a fleece blanket because I would love to. Like honestly, there's so many ideas that are like flowing through my head that I'm like, this is amazing. And because I would also love to show off all the blankets when they're totally finished too. So just let me know in the comments down below. But that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much for hanging out here in the Yarn Dungeon and I will see you in my next video.